Stones agrees new five-year extension worth pounds 250k a week. Manchester City defender John Stones has signed a new five-year contract with the Premier League champions, according to The Athletic. David Ornstein claims that Stones has put pen to paper on a deal worth £250,000 per week, keeping him at the Etihad until 2026. Joining from Everton in 2016 for £50 million, his existing deal was due to run out next year. Stones enjoyed his best season at Man City to date last term. He made 35 appearances in all competitions, forming a formidable defensive partnership with Ruben Dias. City won the Premier League and EFL Cup as well as reaching the Champions League final with Stones and Dias in the heart of the defence. After struggling for club and country, he vastly improved in 2020-21 to regain a starting spot in the England national team. The 27-year-old started every match for Gareth Southgate as the three Lions reached the final of Euro 2020. Former Tottenham midfielder Jamie O'Hara likened Stones to ex-Manchester United and England star Rio Ferdinand on TalkSport last month. I love John Stones, I've always liked him. He's a brilliant football player, O'Hara said. He's the closest thing we've had to Rio Ferdinand, who along with John Terry, was the best centre half in the Premier League. I love watching John Stones, I enjoy watching the way he plays. He's calm, he's compassed but also a brilliant defender. Elsewhere, Jack Grealish was unveiled to Man City fans on Monday evening after his British record transfer from Aston Villa. Speaking to the press for the first time since the move, Grealish said that his departure from Villa left him so emotional that he teared up as he said goodbye. The 25-year-old captained the villains to an 11th-place finish last term after helping them stay in the Premier League the season prior. The £100 million man said, Everyone has seen the way Messi was at his final press conference. That is the exact way I felt myself. The Boyhood Villa fan also said that leaving the club was one of the toughest decisions I've ever had to make. I felt like it was time for me to move on, he continued.